Christ. Amen? This should be each and every one of your visions. And then there's other missions that accomplish that vision. And that is the vision of the Great Ten Revival. Is that people like this brother that came up earlier do not know if he did not know. I said, if you were to die this moment, I asked him plain and simple, did you know that God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life? He said, yes, I heard that. I'm just waiting on it. That good plan. And I said, well, praise God. Let me ask you a question, brother. If you were to die this second, do you know for certain that you would make heaven your home? He goes, no. And at that moment was our opportunity to pray. And he received Christ as his Lord and Savior. Now he knows that he knows that he knows. And then we just went ahead and prayed. We just believe you go ahead and do it back to back. Just go ahead and pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost right there on the spot. Hallelujah. And anyway, we believe that this is this is it in a nutshell. There's so many things, praise God. You know, there's there's so many things that are involved with the vision. Now, I don't have my PowerPoint presentation here with me up here. We'll have that for you. But anyway, that people walk into this tent. They don't know who they they do not know who they are or what their purpose in life is. Do you know how many people are asking, Who am I? Why am I here? I remember a day when I was beside my mother's house. I remember it so clearly. And I was thinking, what am I here for? What's this life all about? Everything, a pet had died, uh, different things had happened. And I thought, and I was a young man. I was a young boy, really. And I said, am I just born to die? Is that all there is? I didn't know who I was. And I didn't know the purpose that I was born for. And that's what's going to be happening. People are going to be coming in here, and they're not going to know who they are or why they're why they here. And so when they leave, the goal is, the mission is, that they will, the vision is, is that they'll get sozo. Isn't that right, Brian? Sozo. They'll get the whole package. And we'll get that fixed. And they'll get the whole package. Amen? They'll get saved. Be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Uh, we believe they'll be healed. We believe there'll be needles and drugs up here at the altar. Amen? Amen. Healed, saved, set free, and delivered. Amen? Amen? Glory to God. Healed, saved, set free, delivered, and baptized in the Holy Ghost, speaking with other tongues, committed to God. So they come in not knowing who they are, they leave. Born again. Our brothers or sisters in the kingdom. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And if they had anything wrong with them, we believe they're going to be healed right there on the spot. Yeah. And we believe that all nine gifts of the Holy Spirit will be in operation. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this is really a, a preparation, a training. Uh, this is what the Thursday night meetings have been. Amen. And uh, so we, we thought we'd feed everybody hot dogs. We've been feeding vegetable trays and different things like that. We thought we'd just go ahead and grill some hot dogs. Do y'all like the dogs? Yeah. You know, I don't even know David. I mean, I've met him. And I met him through uh, Jim Andrews. He came up and was talking to us. Remember he was talking to us about that trike? 